faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it, and it'll just rip. I'm terrified by this. Currently, our night sky is changing rapidly, and in just a matter of decades, if not years, it might become completely unrecognizable. Astronomers Worldwide are sounding the alarm. Experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have recently confirmed the imminent explosion of Polaris, and the tale behind it is quite frightening. Polaris, known as the North Star, has long been a constant in our night. Sky, serving as a crucial reference point for stargazers, navigators, and astronomers. However, this might soon change, altering our night sky and astronomical measurements indefinitely. Let's delve into the significance of this threat and its implications for all of us. Join us as we uncover the story of Polaris as it approaches its end. Point 32. For centuries, Polaris has guided mariners and astronomers alike, holding a revered position as a guiding light. Its unwavering presence in the night sky has been essential for navigation. But this stability may soon be disrupted. In September 2023, a research paper presented by the esteemed Royal Astronomical Society cast doubt on the fate of this celestial luminary. Polaris is on the brink of exploding, potentially vanishing, from the night sky forever. Before we explore the consequences of this revelation, let's understand more about Polaris. Also known as the North Star or Pole Star, Polaris is special due to its proximity to the celestial North Pole. Situated almost directly above Earth's North Pole, it appears almost stationary in the northern sky. 141 found in the constellation Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. Polaris shines as a moderately bright yellow-white supergiant star, much larger and brighter than our sun. It's not a solitary star, but part of a complex triple star system, with Polaris A and Polaris B forming a binary pair, while Polaris Ab orbits around them. The interactions among these stars create gravitational forces that shape their orbits and influence their behavior. Any disruptions in these interactions can lead to irregular variations in the star's brightness or pulsation. Patterns. However, the exact mechanisms behind these interactions remain unclear. Polaris is located approximately 323 light years away from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today started its journey over three centuries ago. Thus, if Polaris were to explode now, we wouldn't observe it until over 300 years later. It's even possible that Polaris has already exploded, and we are yet to witness the light from that event. 0249. Throughout history, the North Star has held immense cultural, navigational, and symbolic significance. Its stability and fixed position made it an invaluable aid for ancient navigators, guiding them across seas and lands. Symbolically, Polaris represented constancy and guidance, remaining steadfast amidst the ever-changing night sky. For astronomers, Polaris served as a crucial reference point, aiding in the study of celestial motions and variable stars. As a Cepheid variable star, its periodic variations in brightness have provided valuable insights into stellar properties and the nature of variable stars. This characteristic also played a significant role in establishing cosmic distances and calibrating instruments. So at 03.24 Polaris's pulsations, have always followed a predictable pattern, which made it simple to anticipate its behavior. However, Polaris has recently deviated from this expected behavior. This irregularity in its pulsation cycle has baffled astronomers, prompting a closer look at this celestial anomaly. Instead of following its usual predictable pattern, Polaris has begun to exhibit erratic cycles of dimming and brightening. Scientists are now raising concerns that the star may be approaching the end of its life. This aligns with behaviors typically observed in stars nearing their end. The gradual elongation of Polaris's pulsation period, which was once stable, can be attributed to interactions within its star system. We've observed an annual increase in the pulsation duration of 4.5 seconds. While this might seem insignificant, it holds substantial implications. 
Some astronomers suggest that gravitational interactions between the Polaris stars could be causing these fluctuations in its atmospheric conditions, directly affecting its pulsation patterns. 04, 28, however, others are more alarmed, believing that similarities between Polaris and Betelgeuse suggest the star is on the brink of exploding. The similarities between Polaris's behavior and that of Betelgeuse, another notable star in the Orion constellation, are striking. Both stars have shown perplexing irregularities in their luminosity, raising concerns about a potential explosion. Stars in their twilight stages often exhibit such irregularities before reaching the culmination of their life cycles. While NASA has expressed heightened concern about Betelgeuse, similar attention hasn't been officially directed toward Polaris yet. As a Cepheid star nears the end of its life cycle, it progresses through various phases, including the main sequence phase, red giant phase, and ultimately the supernova explosion. Based on Polaris's irregular pulsations, scientists predict it has entered the stages of helium depletion, typical of Cepheid stars nearing their end. Wells, 05, 32. These irregularities in Polaris's behavior align with patterns indicative of Cepheid stars in their twilight phases. But definitive indications of its nearing supernova remain inconclusive. Astronomers are diligently analyzing these irregularities to understand Polaris's fate. If Polaris were to go supernova, it would likely be a spectacular event in our sky, potentially outshining the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects visible for days, weeks, or even months. Its appearance might drastically change, temporarily altering our perception of familiar constellations like the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, of which Polaris is a part. Rest assured, Earth would likely be perfectly safe even if Polaris were to explode, given its mass and distance from us. While a Polaris explosion might not be as visually spectacular as that of Betelgeuse, it could still be visible to the naked eye for an extended period and outshine nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories would undoubtedly take notice, sparking intrigue within the scientific community and among stargazers worldwide. 06, 35, however, the specific visibility and impact on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would be less significant compared to a closer supernova event. But what about Polaris itself? What will be its fate after a potential supernova event? Let's clarify one thing. While giant stars typically end their lives with a supernova, this is unlikely to be the case with Polaris. When a massive star goes supernova, a massive explosion occurs within it, marking the final cataclysmic stage in its life. This process involves a complete collapse of the core, triggering an intense shock wave that causes the star to explode violently. However, Polaris is not massive enough to undergo such an explosion. Instead, when Polaris exhausts its nuclear fuel, it will shed its outer layers and transform into a white dwarf. This transformation won't result in a supernova, but rather a serene conclusion as it evolves into a small, extremely dense stellar remnant. 07 Ta-42A white dwarf is the remnant of a low or medium mass star that has exhausted its nuclear fuel. It's incredibly dense, about as massive as the sun, but compressed to the size of Earth. When this happens, we will no longer be able to see its remnants from our planet, much like we observe the star today. Comparing the anticipated effects of Polaris's burst with historical supernova occurrences provides valuable insight into the evolution of stars and their ultimate fates. Comparing our expectations with well-documented supernovae like SN1054, SN1987A, and more recent events such as SN2011 Phi or SN2014J provides valuable data for understanding the potential aftermath of Polaris's burst. So, Pakshu Oro 8. 51 SN1054, for example, resulted in the formation of the Crab Nebula, a nebula that continues to expand and emit radiation across multiple wavelengths, offering astronomers a rich field for study. 
Similarly, SN 1987A, observed in the Large Magellanic, Cloud, provided insights into the processes of nucleosynthesis and the dynamics of supernova remnants. Analyzing phenomena such as the formation of nebulae, the release of cosmic rays, and variations in luminosity can offer insights into Polaris's unique characteristics. The formation of nebulae like the Crab Nebula results from the expulsion of material during the supernova explosion, which interacts with surrounding interstellar gas and dust, enriching it with heavy elements and contributing to the cycle of stellar birth and death. Additionally, the release of cosmic rays, high-energy particles accelerated by supernova shock waves, has implications for astrophysical processes and cosmic radiation environments. 9. Forfi. To make a definitive comparison, scientists evaluate differences in mass, composition, and speed of ejected materials between Polaris's anticipated burst and other observed events. This involves studying the light curves, spectra, and remnants from these events, and projecting similar characteristics for Polaris's anticipated burst. Assessing whether Polaris's burst might lead to the formation of nebulae or distinct elemental distributions enhances our understanding of its potential outcomes. Another crucial area of investigation involves evaluating the pulsational variability of stars nearing their end stages, akin to Polaris, against observed supernova precursors. This comparative analysis can help gauge similarities or deviations and provide insights into the burst mechanism. Pulsational variability in stars nearing the end of their lives may be indicative of internal instabilities or impending catastrophic events, offering clues to the evolutionary processes leading to supernova explosions. 1056. Despite meticulous observations and extensive analysis, Astronomers find themselves puzzled by the irregularities observed in Polaris's behavior. Unraveling the unique conditions driving these irregularities holds the key to advancing our comprehension of stellar evolution. Understanding the mechanisms responsible for Polaris's irregular pulsations requires interdisciplinary collaboration and the development of advanced theoretical models and observational techniques. The potential loss of Polaris as a crucial reference point in the night sky poses substantial concerns for astronomical endeavors. Ground-based telescopes and celestial measurements would require recalibration, impacting the accuracy of astronomical assessments. The absence of Polaris could also affect navigation systems and cultural practices reliant on celestial landmarks, underscoring the significance of this celestial event. 11. 59 Polaris has long been our cosmic guidepost, but its eventual fate challenges our understanding of stars and their dramatic transformations. As we continue to observe Polaris's erratic behavior, astronomers are grappling with the uncertainty of its future. While the notion of a supernova might seem like the most dramatic conclusion for a star like Polaris, it's crucial to remember that not all massive stars end their lives in this manner. For a star to undergo a supernova, it must possess enough mass, typically at least eight times that of the sun. Polaris, although large, is not massive enough to meet this threshold, meaning its final stages may unfold in a much quieter manner than previously imagined. 1231. Instead of exploding in a violent supernova, Polaris is more likely to experience a transformation that could be much less catastrophic for us. As it exhausts its nuclear fuel, Polaris will shed its outer layers and gradually cool and shrink, eventually becoming a white dwarf. This is a common fate for stars that aren't massive enough to trigger a supernova. Over time, the white dwarf will continue to fade, and although it will no longer be visible to the naked eye, it will persist as a dense, compact remnant of its former self. However, this process, while not as visually spectacular as a supernova, still holds scientific importance. 13. Dos Thur The transformation of stars like Polaris into white dwarfs is an essential part of the cosmic life cycle. The material expelled by the star during its shedding of outer layers 
will contribute to the interstellar medium, enriching it with heavy elements that can later be incorporated into new stars, planets, and even life forms. The loss of Polaris from the night sky would have profound implications, not only for astronomers, but also for those who have relied on it for centuries for navigation. The North Star's fixed position has made it an essential point of reference, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, where it has been a guiding light for explorers, sailors, and travelers. For many, its disappearance would be a symbolic loss of the anchor in the heavens. Theme? 36. However, astronomers and navigators have adapted to other methods of celestial navigation, and while the absence of Polaris would be a notable change, humanity would adjust. In the meantime, astronomers will continue to monitor the behavior of Polaris and similar stars. The advances in technology and the development of more precise instruments mean that we are better equipped than ever to track the subtle changes in these stars and to predict their future behavior. Fering or Sotsen. The eventual disappearance of Polaris will serve as a reminder of the dynamic, ever changing nature of the universe. Even the stars we thought were fixed and unchanging have their own life cycles, periods of stability followed by dramatic transformations. The ongoing study of stars like Polaris also provides vital insight into the broader mechanisms of stellar. Evolution, understanding the processes that lead to the formation of white dwarfs, supernovae, and, and neutron stars, helps us piece together the life story of the universe itself. These cosmic remnants are more than just the ashes of once mighty stars. They are keys to understanding how galaxies evolve, how elements are formed, and how the conditions for life might arise elsewhere in the cosmos. In the case of Polaris, Continued observation may also help scientists refine stellar evolution models, especially for Cepheid variables. These stars are crucial as standard candles in measuring astronomical distances. Any changes in Polaris's behavior could have a ripple effect on how we calculate the size and expansion rate of the universe. Linking this seemingly isolated star to our most fundamental understanding of cosmic scale. Meanwhile, a new generation of space telescopes, including the James Webb Space Telescope and upcoming missions like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, is poised to capture more precise data on variable stars, stellar deaths, and interstellar matter. With such tools, astronomers may eventually determine whether Polaris is truly in its final evolutionary stages or simply experiencing an anomalous phase. For now, Polaris remains in our night sky a flickering sentinel, its light a message from centuries past. Whether it fades quietly into a white dwarf or surprises us with a more dramatic conclusion, its story serves as a celestial reminder. Even the most constant lights can change, and in tracking those changes, we gain a deeper appreciation of the vast dynamic universe we inhabit.